Welcome to our conclusion of critical angle. On the first panel, we see all the equations that we need. Equation one, the electric field. Equation two, the phase. Finally, the magnetic field with its vector in the plane, as we did in class. Now, since we're supercritical, cos theta t is purely imaginary. And when we substitute it into equations one and three, you can see that in equation four and five, we have a decaying exponential as we go away normal to the interface. What's left is shown on the next panel. There, we're computing S. Now, S is a cross product. It's exactly the same as what you have in circuits. When you're looking at the real delivered power, it's one half the real VI star. For V, we replace it with the electric field, E, and the magnetic field, H, replaces the current, E, volts per meter, H, amps per meter. The product, volt amps per meter squared, which is watts per meter squared, power per area. So let's do the algebra. Well, we just have equation six for E, and in seven, we have to take the equation from the previous panel and conjugate it. The result is shown there. Now, doing the mechanics of the cross product, we compute S. Notice that the direction of S is only along the interface, not normal to the interface. That means no power is delivered downwards. This has great implications for your project on the light board and how it works.